Hello, let me show you how to connect the OBS to PowerPoint. So as you change slides in PowerPoint, the scenes change in OBS. There's a link to a repo where you can download the files that I'll use in this presentation. So follow that link to the GitHub repository. The first file we'll need is the OBS scene collection. In the repo, go to the Winsome OBS collections, click on the Windows collection, and then click download. Back in OBS, click on Scene Collection, Import, and navigate to where you downloaded the files. Choose the file and click Open, and then click Import. The scene collection will be added to the list of scene collections. Click on the scene collection to activate it. Now that you have the scene collection imported, we'll also need to turn on the OBS WebSocket server. Click Tools, WebSocket server, and then check the enabled WebSocket server. We'll also need to get the password, so we'll queue that up. Next, we'll set up PowerPoint. The first thing we'll need to do is create a blank presentation or open an existing presentation. Then install the add-in script lab. Click on the add-ins icon. Script lab may appear at the top or you can search in the search bar and install script lab. Once you have script lab installed, there'll be a new menu. Click on script lab and click the code. Import the Winsome script, so click on import, and go back to GitHub or where you downloaded this repository to. Click on script lab, open winsome.txt, click the copy button. Now, back in PowerPoint, paste in the script click import and trust. Now run the script. The first question that we need to enter into the script is the WebSocket server password. So back in OBS, click on show connection info, click copy, paste that in and connect. We can now see that there's a new connection to the WebSocket server, and that's our PowerPoint. So the connection is successful. The first thing we'll want to do is add tags. In the tags section of the script, every scene that has the word scene followed by three pipe characters and then the description of the scene will appear here. So you can add additional scenes that you would like to add tags for by following that format. And for each scene, you can add it at the entrance of the slide, meaning after the transition has completed, or at the exit of the slide, meaning once you click next slide, the transition starts, and that is the slide's exit. So let's say I want to see the camera in the upper right. So I have a shorthand here of full screen slide UR for upper right. When I click that, a shape is added to the stage. Let's zoom in. And you can see this tag is letting PowerPoint, uh, OBS know that this um, is the scene that it should use when this slide exits. We can also set camera settings. There's a scene called camera with several camera positions. You can create more of those as well. But let's say we want to switch to a medium view on exit. And we can go to the next slide and let's add an example here. We did the upper right in the previous slide, so let's have it go to the lower right on exit and go to a wide angle camera. We can see these tags were added here. For this presentation, I want the slides to run in a window mode. So let's switch over to the slide settings and choose windows and continue to loop. Okay, now let's start the slide and pop out the slide controls. 
Once the slide's in play mode, we can use the presentation controls. The first setting is for slide navigation, where we can navigate from the previous slide to the next slide. So right now, we're on slide two, so let's navigate back to slide one. And as we click next slide, it should apply the scene of upper right and the camera of medium. So let's see, yes. So there we are. Navigate to the next slide and the scene changed. And again, if we do the next slide, now the scene's changed where the camera's in the lower right and the slide has changed as well. So that's one of the features of this script. The next feature to highlight is notes tags. You can take the notes from your slides and have them scrolling like a teleprompter. You can add a note tag using these buttons here. I'll click the add a note tag to all slides button. And now there's a shape where we can enter notes on all the slides. So just for this example, I'll copy the text from here and paste it into here. Now with notes on our slide, I'll navigate back to the previous slide. Over in OBS, on the slide notes scene, right click and choose window projector. And once the pop-up appears, click always on top. Now, as the slideshow progresses, the notes will load and start to scroll. The teleprompter has settings where you can pause the scroll, you can increase the size of the font and decrease the size of the font and increase the scroll speed and decrease the scroll speed. And that's the notes feature. The last feature to highlight are the hotkey controls. In OBS, under settings and hotkeys, there's a scene called slide controls that you can assign hotkeys to that send the message to PowerPoint to go to the next slide, go to the previous slide, pause the scrolling, speed up the scrolling and decrease the scrolling. This is useful if you have a slide controller. I recommend using this with a PowerPoint slide controller. I'll go over how to configure the controller in another video. But these are the three major features of the Winsome slide controls for Windows. Thank you.